hundreds of audience members poured into New Jersey Performing Arts Center to see a classic romantic film as they've never seen it before, accompanied by a live orchestra. This is the first time we're showing an entire film accompanied by the orchestra. I think this is a great way to introduce new audiences to the sound, the thrilling sound of a live orchestra. Nationwide, symphonies are contending with declining attendance, and groups like New Jersey Symphony Orchestra are looking to diversify the kinds of performances they present. We try to be very engaging with our audiences. We talk about raising the invisible curtain so that we're more approachable. On our pop series next year, we're going to be doing Cirque de la Symphony with acrobats performing around, in and around the orchestra. And we're also presenting a tribute to the Beatles. Symphonies are finding new ways to build audiences for orchestral music, and NJSO hopes that programming like Casablanca will do just that. To study for this, I actually checked out Casablanca, and I went through the and I went through with the music, and I was astonished that you actually uh, can't hear a lot of the or orchestration in the actual movie. So I think the audience will discover some new pieces of music in the movie. And the score is by Max Steiner, and Max Steiner, who also wrote and scored Gone with the Wind was actually a student, a composition student, student of Gustav Mahler. Performing alongside a film does provide added challenges for the orchestra. We have to be right on the clock, right with the movie. The movie just goes and there's no wiggle room. The other challenge for me is not to watch the movie while I'm playing because <laughs> it's right there and I still have to concentrate on the music. I have a couple of uh, video monitors in front of me. One of them has the film, so I can watch the film on one side and on the other side. I have an, uh, just a regular analog clock. To facilitate performance of the score, the orchestral track has been removed from the film. All the famous stuff is on there, and we will be playing with them on the screen. So it'll be kind of like a, a duet between orchestra and movie. But NJSO suggests the payoff has made it worthwhile. We're usually not very aware of what's going on with the music in movies, but the mu music is always there kind of shaping things behind the, the action, behind the dialogue. You know. I think that I'm noting the music a lot more than I would have otherwise, appreciating it a little bit more. Louis, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. In Newark, for NJ Today, I'm Madeline Orton.